Uh, this essay is about Mitt Romney and his, uh, not just his political viewpoint, uh, but also the way he treats you know, dogs. Uh, <clears throat> Ginger and I were discussing politics uh, a couple of nights ago, and uh, and I don't, you know, Ginger knows that I don't like the Donald, and she also knows that I don't like Mitt Romney, and uh, and 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 so this is our conversation, and she, she know and Ginger knew about what Mitt Romney did with um, his Irish setter. Um, and it, it just, it, you know, I love Ginger and I would never do what he did to his dog about putting her in a carrier on the top of his station wagon and driving six, seven hours to a vacation site. But, you know, if a, if a politician can't treat the family dog correctly, how is that politician going to be in tune with other people who are less financially, you know, rich? Um, and so this essay applies to, um, <laughs> to uh, Mitt Romney, but it also applies to other rich people who want to be politicians who are intellectually disconnected to the masses, to the masses of 99% of the rest of America. So I um, hope you um, hope you understand what Ginger was trying to express to me and apply that to your own life. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for uh, watching this video and reading this essay. Take care.